10 Places on Earth That Modern Man Has Never Visited Exploration and the path to new lands has always been a priority for our species since humans were on Earth. Because of this, not only has the vast majority of our world been found but also populated. Nevertheless, despite this, there are still a variety of areas across the globe that have yet to be reached by human influence. Good day to all of you, may you have in good health amid this pandemic. Let's talk about the places on Earth that modern man has still never visited. Before that, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon below. Most of those areas are just too risky to touch for mankind. There are deep sea trenches that have much too much water to survive. Areas where volcanoes are continually erupting, and even areas that have much too harsh a weather to endure. It just demonstrates that Mother Nature still rules. You will find 10 places on our planet in this video that have yet to see human exploration due to the extreme dangers they pose to us or simply because they are inaccessible. 1. The Star Mountains of Papua New Guinea. This massive mountain range stretches across a large portion of the small Indonesian country in Papua New Guinea and has yet to see any significant human exploration. It is actually considered to be one of the world's wettest areas. With an average rainfall of more than 10,000 mm per annum. The rain is so torrential, that in this mountain range, there is no single location that can house a weather station. In 1959, Jan Sneep, a Dutch colonial civil servant, actually attempted to explore the area and map it. Even with two helicopters, after one of the planes crashed. The expedition still ended up dependent on manpower by itself. 2. North Sentinel Island, Bay of Bengal. This tiny island lies between the southern coasts of India and Thailand. In the Bay of Bengal, making it extremely remote. Its inhabitants, called the Sentinelese people, are the only human beings that have ever lived on the island and refuse to accept modern visitors for a long time. Anyone who comes to the island to try to explore or study the area is immediately turned down, often violently. Two fishermen found themselves drifting towards the island in 2006 after their anchor broke free. And when they reached the island, they were both killed. As soon as the Sentinelese people saw them near the shore, the island therefore exists entirely out of touch with the rest of the modern world and is basically completely unexplored. 3. Vale do Javari, Brazil. The planet has seen less and less people in recent decades who still tend to keep out of contact with modern technology and culture. But of the few indigenous people left, the Vale do Javari is home to 14 different groups of them. For over 3,000 individual indigenous peoples belonging to 14 separate tribes, the Brazilian government has prohibited people to enter the region to protect the indigenous peoples and their culture. This 32,990 square mile area is larger than Austria's entire country, making it the perfect place to remain isolated from modernized society and largely unexplored by the rest of the world. 4. Namib Desert, Namibia. Located along Angola, Namibia, and South Africa's Atlantic coasts. This desert extends for over 1,200 miles and is one of the driest places in the world. In certain places, this desert sees just 2 millimeters of water for the entire year. Which means that it is practically difficult for anything to exist. And the few living things that do live have to do so with the least possible water. Close to the coasts, this desert mostly consists of giant sandy seas spanning hundreds of miles. Any living thing that is left in the areas or lost will never be able to survive without rescue. There are indigenous people who have managed to survive in the less arid areas, but for the most part the Namib is home only to invertebrates such as scorpions and other small animals that can live with almost no water. 5. Sakha Republic, Russia. This region of Russia is the eighth largest in the world and the vast majority of it is above the Arctic Circle, rendering it essentially a dry, frozen desert. With 1,190,555 square miles in area, the Sakha Republic is only slightly smaller than India's entire region. However, the difference is that the climate is so brutal that it is home to fewer than a million people. If the people who lived in this incredibly desolate region of the world were evenly spread all over the area, there would be more than a whole square mile between each individual. The area's average temperature during the winter is around minus 46 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and it is home to the Verkhoyansk Range, the Northern Hemisphere's coldest area. Much of this gigantic area of the planet has gone largely unexplored and untouched by mankind because of the extreme cold and freezing weather. 6. Singi de Bemarha National Park Located on the very western edge of Madagascar, an island off the South African coast. This national park is based around two large geographic features called Great Singi and Little Singi. These rock formations are plateaus where the groundwater has carved deep ruts into them to the extent where they are completely unable to move or walk on. When translated, the word Singi also means where one can not walk barefoot, making it the perfect name for this incredibly special region of the world. Because of the vast area in which these formations are located, the park was rendered inexplorable simply because the jagged plateaus cannot be crossed. 7. Yucatan Cenotes, Mexico. Located in southern Mexico and just north of Belize. The Yucatan Peninsula is lined with natural pits and sinkholes, or cenotes. Such holes are created as the rock starts to crumble and break away just below the base. Leaving wide gaps and holes in the earth. Revealing the groundwater that was lying underneath. The rock falling into the water allows the remaining rock to melt much more, allowing the region to begin to expand in size and to create large natural holes in the earth. Exploring these holes is much more dangerous than it is worth to learn more about them. Particularly when it is difficult to locate the openings within them, let alone reach them. These caves, despite their natural beauty, pose extreme hazards to both explorers and animals. 8. Gangkharpuensum, Bhutan. The giant snowy peak of Gangkharpuensum rises 24,836 feet into the air on the border of Bhutan and China. Making it the highest mountain in the world not to be climbed by mankind. This huge mountain has never been accurately measured until the last years after 1922. And the first team to try to determine its height was also unable to locate it. Between 1985 and 1986, four separate teams tried to climb the mountain. But all four failed because of the hazardous weather. And in 1994, climbing higher than 19,685 feet out of reverence for local spiritual values was absolutely prohibited. Following the previous limit on climbing height, 2003 mountain climbing was prohibited outright. The true geography of the mountain is still disputed to this day because so few people have actually been able to climb, let alone map, the whole of the massive mountain. 9. Mariana Trench, Pacific Ocean. The deepest portion of our planet's oceans lies in the western part of the Pacific Ocean. Just east of the Philippines, the Mariana Trench. This huge crescent-shaped scar in the crust of the Earth is 1,500 miles long and reaches a recorded depth of 36,000 feet in the Challenger Deep Valley. This trench is so deep that the tip of the mountain would still be a mile from the surface. Even if you dropped all of Mount Everest inside it. The only organisms that are able to survive the pressure of water this deep are called xenophyophores, which are single-celled organisms that live on the minerals in the water. Mariana Trench is probably one of the most inaccessible locations for mankind on the entire Earth. And as a result, we will never know how deep it really goes or if any unknown creatures have made it their home. 10. Kamchatka, Russia. As Russia is home to one of the largest and coldest regions in the world. It's only fitting that it is also home to some of the planet's most incredible volcanic activity. The massive volcano belt on the Kamchatka Peninsula contains 160 different volcanoes. 29 of which are still active today, the highest being Klyuchevskaya Sopka, at 15,584 feet tall. Obviously a region with so much volcanic activity is not an ideal place for exploration. But the fact that so much of the region has been built by thousands of years. A volcanic rock makes exploration attempts much harder. All 10 of these places are a strong reminder that planet Earth was here long before humanity was even formed and that some places are simply left untouched better. Beautiful and special places like these should remain in the natural states, untouched by modern civilization, because our home would be a much more boring place to live without incredible natural wonders. Thanks for watching the video my friends. I hope you enjoy it. Please click the subscribe button and the bell icon below. Live your comments and suggestion below. See you in my next video.